Okay, in this video we're asked to find the shortest distance between two circles. And the shortest distance between two circles always exists um, on the line that connects the two centers. So a good starting point would be to graph both of these cent uh, centers. So we're going to graph A uh, at 5 comma 3. And then we're going to graph B at 2 negative 1. And so now we have this line that connects these um, uh, circles up. And so we're going to go ahead and draw that line in. I'm going to go ahead and put it as a dotted line um, and so that we can know that it's not actually uh, the circles, but it is a very important um, line on the graph. Okay, so now we have this line. And so we need to figure out um, along that line what is the shortest distance between the two circles. So the first circle has radius 12. So we're going to graph um, a radius of 12. And uh, pretty difficult to go through and graph radius 12 because it's hard to, to get the curve right with that big of a um, bigger radius, but we'll do our, the best we can here. And then the radius 6 we're going to graph as well. And once you get that graphed, it becomes very apparent where the shortest distance is going to end up being. The shortest distance is going to end up being is in that section of the um, line that connects up the two centers. And it may seem like that's going to be hard to find out the um, uh, length of that section until you think a little bit about what you already know. And that is you know these radii. And so this one is 6. Um, this one right here is 12. And so if I knew what this was, then I'll know what this is, right? Because uh, that, those two add together to give you 6. And it turns out using Pythagorean theorem, it's easy to show that that line or that segment has length 5. And so 5 plus 6 plus 1 uh, gives you a, a length of 12 from uh, point A to the outside of the circle. So the solution to this problem is the circles are one unit apart. And that one unit happens right here between the two circles. Um, what, it, it would have been easy to, to think about this problem and get a little bit confused um, because of the point A in the smaller circle. Um, but you just need to remember that when you're dealing with a circle, the actual center is not a part of the circle. Uh, it's just a reference point for where you draw the radius from to find all the points that are on the circle.